This video discusses using the vapor pressure routines for the software that comes with introductory chemical engineering thermodynamics in the MATLAB directory. The video assumes that you've already viewed the introduction to MATLAB folders to understand how to navigate folders. The directory I'm going to discuss is in the PSAT folder. I'll talk about how to uh, load the contents of the workspace and the vapor pressure utilities that come in the folder. So now let me navigate to the PSAT folder. There is a series of files. Antoine Git is a utility program. Uh, AntonTable.mat is a workspace file with the saved data that we will use. Antoine Table Browse is a utility that enables me to browse the table without opening it. PSAT will calculate the vapor pressure at a given temperature. TSAT will find the saturation temperature at a given pressure. There are two ways that I can look at the data file. First, I could load it into the workspace. and There's also a utility called Antoine Table Browse that enables me to read the contents. So let me open the dirt workspace so that I can see it. And I can just double click to load the workspace. And then I can double click this to view the contents. Now I'm going to be able to access these uh, Antoine coefficients by the row. You can see I've got the compound name, Antoine's A, B, and C, as well as the minimum and maximum temperature at which the coefficient should be used. Notice, for example, for butanol, there are two different sets of Antoine parameters for two different temperature ranges. There is another way that I can load the data quickly. And let me get rid of it right now so that we can watch that. I can just use the load command. load this and you'll see that it's then loaded into the workspace and then I can again view it. This is convenient to use from a different path. For example if I am in a parent directory I could load from the uh, PSAT folder, AntoineTable.mat. Now I've loaded it from a subfolder. It is also possibly possible for me to use this um, Antoine Table Browse. Again, I can check the sub subfolder contents. I'm looking for Antoine Table Browse. So I can run from the PSAT subfolder, Antoine Table Browse. I want to take the M off. And this gives me a quick look at the contents. I can pick the row of interest that has the compound. For example, row 8 would be butanol between 70C and 120C. So now let's look at some of the utility programs, PSAT, TSAT, and Antoine Get. All right, so let's look at the routine Antoine Get because that's routine that routine is used in within the others. Antoine Get is going to use input ID. An ID can be a vector that holds multiple row numbers. The row numbers will be rows from the Antoine table. For each row number that is looked up, I will return the names and the Antoine coefficients a, b, and c for those compounds. The routine works by first checking to see if Antoine table has been loaded into the workspace memory. If not, then it is loaded. 
I then check the length of the vector ID, the listing of ID numbers, and for each listing I look up according to the row number and the column, the first column is the name, the second column is a coefficient a, etc. I load create a vector, create vectors to hold those and then return those back to the calling function. So let's look at the other routines that are set up to use these. So let's look at PSAT. PSAT uses no inputs and all the output will go back to the workspace. It starts by taking by using Antoine get to look up the Antoine coefficients. In this case I'm looking them up for components 3 and 4, rows number 3 and 4 from Antoine table. At a temperature of 80 degrees C I will then use the vector operating math to uh, element by element calculate the vapor pressure and P will be a two element vector of vapor pressures at 80 degrees C. And notice I'm using formatted print statements, uh, a string print statement that's formatted here and the display re eliminates the um, extra carriage returns that you normally get with a standard uh, MATLAB uh, printing. So let's see how this works. Let's change the temperature here to let's say 70 degrees C. Alright, and if we're interested, if we don't remember rows 3 and 4, what's in row 3 and 4 in Antoine's table? So we can run, uh, let me turn on more if it's not, and we're going to run Antoine table browse. And run th row 3 is ethanol, row 4 is is propanol, okay, so uh, n propanol, 1 propanol, that's what we will use. So let's run this, and I get output ethanol in the first column, propanol in the second. You can see I'm getting the coefficients, and then it's echoed at T70, the vapor pressure for ethanol, and then for 1 propanol. Now let's look at the routine TSAT, which calculates saturation temperature. This function, again, uses no inputs. All the output will go to the workspace. I'm going to use Antoine get, in this case, to look up row 3, which is ethanol. I can set the pressure. Uh, here I'm going to set it to 760, and then calculate the bubble temperature at that pressure. Um, and so this will be the normal boiling point at 760. And I programmed Antoine's equation here, and I'm going to compare it to P, which is 760, using an initial guess of 20. F0 is briefly documented in Appendix A, and more information is available in the help function um, within MATLAB. So let's see how this works to find the bubble temperature or the saturation temperature for ethanol at 760. All right, I can just run this. Okay, it's looking up ethanol. It's going to echo the coefficients and it tells me the saturation temperature is 78.3. So I hope this is helpful. Um, Antoine Get is the most powerful routine here very useful for calling from other functions in order to look up Antoine coefficients and use them in other functions. And we will use that when we get to mixture properties, calculating bubble points and dew points, etc. for mixtures.